Hi everyone. So some of you have asked how I created this animated uh, banner for my Google Classroom. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to start with Google Slides and one easy way of doing that is by typing slides.new and that will pull up a brand new slideshow for you. And then um, we're going to work with as much real estate as we can. So I'm going to highlight all of this and delete it. So the size of the Google Classroom banner is uh, once you're going to go under where it says file, go to page setup, and you're going to select custom. And I use pixels. The Google Classroom banner is 1000 by 250. So make sure that you change the dimensions of your Google slide to accommodate that. <clears throat> and now this will fit perfectly on your Google Classroom. So first you're going to create your classroom. We can choose any background we want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, this is good. We'll select that one. And then, of course, you're going to add your Bitmoji. And I will pick this one. And you get it right where you want to see the animation happen. So I'm going to go ahead and center my Bitmoji. And now uh, this is what the banner will look like in your Google Classroom. So um, the way you animate that and make it a uh, movement is you're going to select your Bitmoji and then click where it says animate and it's going to be um, I want it to fly up from the bottom so having it fly in from the bottom and we're gonna have that uh, after previous and then I'm gonna add animation and I'm gonna have it fly up from or fly out to the top and that again will be after previous and you click play and that will preview the file for you and that's pretty fast so the way you slow it down is you just drag these little um, you know these little slides down to slow down the animation I'm going to do that on both when she's coming up from the bottom and when she's going out to the top we can preview that and that looks good. I like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn this into a GIF file. And since you cannot actually download as a GIF, you have to use an extension. So the extension I use is called Capture to a GIF. Um, and you can find that on the Chrome Web Store. Uh, so here it is. I'm going to activate the um, the Chrome uh, extension and this one is good it will automatically outline a an area for you to capture as a GIF and uh, then I'm going to click play and record and then stop and then it will go ahead and generate the GIF for you Okay, so it will, and it will keep replaying for you. So you could, uh, if you don't like what you've come up with, you could do it again. Um, and this, you know, I could do the same thing this time. I want to start recording before I hit play this time so that you can see her coming up from the bottom. So record and then play. And that's it. So now I'm going to hit stop. And um, now that we have a GIF, I'm going to save it to my computer. And I'm going to go to Google Classroom. And I'm going to create a class. In this case, this is just my 
my sample class. So I can show you how to do this. So now that you're in Google Classroom, you're going to click where it says Upload Photo. And you're going to select from the computer. And you find the GIF file that you've created. So mine was called Captured One. Here it is. I click Open. And there she is. So now you can adjust this so that you've got your whole image. And I've got that now in my class theme. And when that updates, you'll be able to see my students, when they open my classroom, they'll be able to see my Bitmoji in my Google Classroom on a constant loop. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this video helped. Um, if you have any questions, just, you know, shout out and hopefully I can help. Take care.